How about now? Okay, fine. I'll introduce the council then the school committee. And <clears throat> we'll start right now, if you would please. I'd like Councillor Shirley Azak. Councillor Tina Cardoso. Councillor Timothy J. Cruz. Councillor Dennis Irneri. Councillor Winthrop Fowle, Jr. Councillor John Lally. Councillor Rita Mendes. Councillor Thomas Monaghan. Councillor Sousa De Castro. Councillor Moises Rodriguez. Councillor Jeffrey Thompson. Now I will introduce the school committee. The vice chair is unable to attend today. So we'll start with Ward 2. Cynthia Mendes. Mark Diagostino. Tony Rodericks. Rodriguez, I'm sorry. Judy Sullivan. Joyce Azak. Timothy J. Sullivan. He's a gentleman that's your counsel in your school committee for the years 2020. If you'd like to give him a hand of applause. I'd like you all to stand and join me in a salute to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please be seated. Councilors, time having arrived, we will go for the election of a president pro tem. Nominations are open. I nominate the Dean of the Council, Dennis Ianieri. Second. Make a motion to close the nominations. Councilor Ianieri, nominated by Councilor Azak and seconded by Councilor Lally. Councilor Cruz, close nominations. We'll call the roll. Councillor Azak. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Cardoso. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Cruz. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Fowell. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Lally. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Mendes. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Moynihan. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor De Castro. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Rodriguez. Councillor Ianieri. Councillor Thompson. Councillor Ianieri. President Pro Tem Ianieri <clears throat> has votes have been cast the election of the Council Pro Tem, Pro Tem Council Ianieri for the year 2020. Council Pro Tem, could you please come forward. Thank you. Thank you very much. And it's a great honor um, to be in the position, again, to be the council pro temp for what we call a, a, a tremendous and a wonderful day. We're here for the inauguration of our mayor, uh, Brockton City Council, and our Brockton School Committee. We also have new members on, on both parties within the City Council and School Committee, and of course, a new mayor as, as well. So um, I wanna just take time to um, thank you all for being here. Uh, great pleasure to have such a crowd here and such a diverse crowd as well. 
because it shows that the city of Brockton is, is together and we're whole and we're ready to go with this for the next couple of years and work together as a group and an organization as we shall be. So um, with that being said, <laughs> and with that being said, I just want to take time to wish all of you a happy, healthy and prosperous new year. Here we are, 2020, whoever thought, and it's also a new decade, and we've got a lot of work to do, but as I just said, we're gonna do it, and we're gonna do it all together, so uh, I appreciate that. At this particular time, and councilors, you all have an agenda before you, and we're gonna, and I'm gonna do my best to follow it, and if I sidestep it, oh well, I sidestep it, but I don't think I will. Um, at this time, I wanna appoint councilors Monahan and councilors Lally to examine the credentials of our newly elected city council and, and school committee members. So, uh, councilors and school committee members, please uh, take out your credentials so that they can be brought up and we can examine them. Yep. Find a couple of bogus ones there. Huh? <laughs> I'll trust mine. Just the, uh, oh, would you oh, like mine? Have yours? Yeah. Who is this guy? I don't know. Never met him. The credentials are in order. There's a little trouble with file wells, but everything else seems all right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, years ago we had trouble with Councilor Todd Petty. He had a picture on his, if I can remember. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> God bless. I know he's not here, so I can get away with it, but God bless him. He's a friend of mine anyway. So, at this time, I've, I've accepted the credentials, and we've received them. We're placing them on file, Mr. Clark. There you have them. At this particular time, uh, now what we're going to do, as we always do when we have the ceremony, I'm going to appoint three people that are going to notify the mayor-elect that the council has formed a temporary organization and is ready for the administration of oaths of office and to receive his in inaugural address. So, Councilors Nicastro, Councilor Cruz, and Councilor Fowle, I would ask that you stand and you go down to uh, to get the mayor to uh, get him ready to be brought into the chambers. And at this particular time, we're just going to be taking a short recess until that is done. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. President, uh, excuse me. Uh, at this particular time, I, I ask. Let's go by the script. When they say lights, what's. Mics. Mics? Yeah, I just put them on. Okay, they're on. At, at this time, I would ask Councilor Nicastro. Uh, I just lost my speak, please. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That the mayor has been uh, notified in the city council has uh, formed a temporary organization. Yes, yes, and I have the mayor's credentials as well. Okay, and those credentials are to be examined by, at this particular time, uh, City Council uh, Moises Rodriguez. If he would... Uh, okay, here we are. He will say that there are no other. Is it the... Mr. President, this credential seems to be legit. <laughs> and thank God. <laughs> thank God Bob Sullivan got elected to take over. The there you go. <laughs> I, will, I will place that item on file. <laughs> At this time, I would ask that Councilors Mendez and Councilor Cardoza and Councilor Thompson escort uh, the mayor to his seat. Ask the audience to stand. Audience, please stand. 
And before, before, okay. come forward, yes. Our guest comes in. You got to know something. Yeah. We also have here former mayor of the city of Brockton, Linda Belzotti. Members of the clergy are also here, so please join in the in the back. Here, let me come along. Yep, snap right over the way, if you may. Is there? We have one. We have the mayor, there. and we also at, at, at this time I we have a very special guest with us, and I do want him to join us, and that's our congressman, Mr. Stephen Lynch. Please come up here and join us at the same time. And we're very very happy to have you here with us, Mr. Congressman. I know I know you are very 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 busy in Washington, but we appreciate you taking time to be here to be here with us. At this time, I would ask that uh, uh, again our councilors Mendez, Cardozo, and Thompson escort our mayor, our honorable mayor, Robert Sullivan, into the chambers. I would ask that everybody please remain standing for an invocation by Pastor Mark Oliver of the Trinity Baptist Church. Pastor? I'll scoot down. Shall we pray? Our Father in heaven, we praise you and we thank you for this day. We recognize that in every, in every community you raise up leaders for your purposes. We thank you for this very moment as we recognize one more leader that you are blessing our city uh, today. We ask that you would provide him wisdom, grace, understanding, and courage as together, Lord, we seek to accomplish a city that will bring glory to your name. Bless these proceedings, and it's in Christ's name I pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor. At this time, we're going to be begin our, our program. So at this time, I am going to ask the clerk to now please administer the oath of office to the mayor of the city of Brockton. Mr. Clerk. Constitution thereof. So help me God. So help me God. I, I Robert Sullivan, who solemnly swear, who solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially, that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform, discharge and perform all the duties that come upon me. All the duties accompanied upon me as the mayor of the city of Brockton. As the mayor of the city of Brockton, according to the best of my abilities, according to the best of my abilities and understanding, and understanding, agreeably to the rules and regulations, agreeably to the rules and regulations, of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, and the ordinances of the city of Brockton, and the ordinances of the city of Brockton. So help me God. So help me God. I, I, Robert Sullivan, who solemnly swear, who solemnly swear, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Thank you.
At this time, if you could just be seated. As we, as we, uh, as we continue to, to move forward, I, I do want to at this time appropriately take a moment of silence for some of our relatives, our friends, co-workers, some within even City Hall itself that passed uh, during the past year. And also recall um, we lost uh, two former mayors last year, former Mayor Richard Wainwright, who was always, always a part of this process all the time. And of course, uh, it's just been about six months since we lost the passing of um, Mayor Bill Carpenter. So I just, I just think it's time that we just bow our heads and think of everybody and, and just, um, you know, just in a short time and we'll continue. May they all rest in peace, and I'm sure they're watching over us. Some are probably watching to see just what we're going to do different from what they did. Right, <coughs> I mean, Council. Right, Mr. Mayor? I'm sorry. <laughs> I am sorry. <laughs> At this time, uh, I'm, I'm going to ask that the members of the City Council will please stand and answer present as their names are called, and the clerk will administer the office to the City Council. Mr. Clerk. Present. 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 The clerk will now administer the oath of office to the city city councilors. I do solemnly swear that I will be a true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts. It will support the Constitution thereof. So help me God. I, Dennis Neary, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully and impartially discharge and perform all the duties incumbent upon me of the city of Brockton to the best of my ability and understanding agreeably to the rules and regulations of the Commonwealth and the ordinances of the city of Brockton. So help me God. I, Dennis and Erie, do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States. Thank you. <laughs> Councilors will now come, now come up and uh, sign the old book, Mr. Clerk.
Welcome back. Ready to go? We're okay. Okay. At, at, at this time, I'm going to ask everybody to please stand for a prayer from Father Michael from our Tri Parish St. Edith Stein Catholic Church. <clears throat> Father, please do. Thank you very much. I just didn't want to mess your last name. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, Thank you. <laughs> Good morning to you all. Good morning, Father. Good morning, Father. Let us pray. In the name of God, the Father, and of Jesus Christ, the eternal word of God, mm -mm. who came in flesh as true man and born of Mary in Bethlehem of Judea, and of the Holy Spirit, who came upon the apostles and is now given to the people of God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, as we gather together, for this special inauguration of Mayor Robert Sullivan, we turn humbly and trustingly to you, our guide, in prayer, and we extol your holy and triumphant name before all that you have made. We invoke your perfect will and peace upon ourselves and all the people and families of this city of Brockton. We bless and thank you, God, for all the living and our beloved dead, and above all, for all who are actively serving the public, those who are present at this ceremony, and those who follow this inauguration live from their homes and offices, in their travels and services, in state and out of state, in our prisons and abroad, whether because of their connection to our former mayor, Linda, Bill Carpenter, or to our outgoing Mayor Moses, or to our incoming Mayor Robert and their families. Dear God and Father, give your Holy Spirit anew to Mayor Robert, whom you have chosen and whose role you have conferred as the mayor and chief servant of and over the people of Brockton for their well-being and their affairs. 
Almighty God, we ask and pray that your son's heart may be set on holy fire for the service of all of your peoples in honesty, diligence, and unalloyed commitment. Make him a leader after your heart, wise, holy, prayerful, mm. spiritual, foresighted, and unassuming. Grant him good health of mind and body, safety, sound judgment, compassion, humility, integrity, and faith. Let him bring your true love and hope to the weary and to the downtrodden, to the well-to-do and to those who labor constantly. When at work, grant him strength and the solidarity of his colleagues and counselors. When at home, afford him the support of his family and friends. Make him reach out to all and be inclusive. Grant him a heart that cares and feels, eyes that see, ears that listen, and feet that arrive and visit. Above all, Lord, make him know and aspire for whatever is true, whatever is honorable, whatever is just, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is gracious. If there is any excellence, if there is anything worthy of praise, Lord, make him think of these things. And may you, the God of peace, be with him daily until the very end. Grant this invocation through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. 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 Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Everybody could please be seated at this point. At this time, moving forward, the clerk is now going to administer the oath of office to the members of the Brockton School Committee. And I ask that when their uh, name is called, that they stand up and say, present, and then they will receive the uh, oath of office. Mr. Clerk. Present. 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 You want the old first? The old, or do the... The old yeah. Hold up, sign. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we do. <laughs> All right, if you raise your right hand, oh. just put your name after I, and repeat after me. I. I. I, Mark D'Agostino. Solemnly swear. You solemnly, you solemnly swear. swear. That I will faithfully and impartially. That I will faithfully and impartially. Who's charging for one? Discharge and perform. Discharge and perform. All the duties that come upon me. All, all the, the duties that come upon me. As member of the Brockton School Committee. As member of the Brockton School Committee. To the best of my ability and understanding. According to the best, the best of my ability and understanding. The rules and regulations. The rules and regulations. Of the Commonwealth. The ordinances of the city of Brockton. The ordinances of the city of Brockton. So help me God. I, Mark D'Agostino, solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the Commonwealth of Massachusetts for the Constitution thereof. I, Mark D'Agostino, solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution, the Constitution, the Constitution, the Constitution of the United States.
Congratulations to all. I have to say, watching the uh, school committee receive the oath of office reminds me of when I received it uh, on January 5th, 1980, some 40 years ago. Uh, and you, you didn't take a part in the role of city behind councils. You sat right out there in the aisle. It was like a, like a courthouse, you know, a courtroom, whether or not you're going to be tried and see if you can do the job or not. But uh, <laughs> so that's how far I go back. So <laughs> I was. <laughs> I heard a rumor. <laughs> you should have joined us. You would have learned a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, at, at this time, I do want to... Uh, Take a couple of minutes to introduce um, some other people that are here in in the room, and and again, I want to um, reintroduce our former mayor Linda Belzotti for being here today. <laughs> and of, and of course, I do want to introduce our city councilor at large, but was a former mayor, Winthrop H. Farrell Jr. And of course, our outgoing mayor and city council at large, Mayor Rodriguez. It's hard to it's hard to introduce everybody and a lot of other people that are here in the audience. But I do want to take time to acknowledge our state delegation. I know our state senator Michael Brady, former city council, is here. I believe. I, I believe that our former city council and state representative, Michelle Dubois, is here. I may not have seen her, maybe she is not, but she, uh, she's usually here as well. Uh, state representative and former city council from Ward 3, Jerry Cassidy. I, I can't put a former title to it, but we still love her dearly. It's our state representative, Claire Cronin. And I know there are so many other people out there from all parts of government, through even throughout the state, even throughout the city, even throughout Plymouth County. We appreciate all that you do to make Brockton a better place, and we all look forward to working with you, the former city councilors and school committee members. And again, everyone's job has been well appreciated over the years, so uh, we're looking, looking forward to everybody to please be a part of this whole, whole new administration uh, with us. With that being said, comes the highlight of Highlight, I don't let the sirens go by. <laughs> it's gonna, it's the highlight of what we're really here for. And I, oh, I'm sorry. I did, I will reintroduce the congressman again, Mr. Stephen Lynch. Yes, yeah, That means we want you back in Washington today to see if we can straighten up this week. Can we get things going? Yeah, I know you will. Great. Nice to have you here with us. Again, just going back to what I started to say, what we're here for today is naturally the election of, of a new mayor as well. And at this uh, time, it gives me a great honor and privilege to present to you 
He's going to make his uh, uh, address to the city of Brockton, to the people, and how we're going to move the city forward. And I know that he, he is going to do an outstanding job. Having served with him for 14 years as a member of the city council, uh, the city council at large, uh, no stranger to the city, um, and had a, had a great mayoral run, and I, I think he, de he deserves every bit of it. So it's my great honor and uh, privilege to introduce to you a very good friend of mine, Mayor Robert F. Sullivan. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very, very much. First of all, I just I want to say uh, good morning. I want to say good morning to Mr. President, Mr. Clerk, distinguished members of the Brockton City Council, Brockton School Committee, state representatives, state senator, our friend Congressman Lynch. I want to uh, welcome elected Plymouth County officials. I know the DA Tim Cruz is here. I know uh, Greg Hanley, County Commissioner, is here, and I'm sure there's other county officials here. I want to thank you. Uh, of course, Pastor Oliver, Pastor Sherry, Father Michael, Bishop Tony Branch, fellow Brocktonians. It's truly an honor to stand before you at this podium today to begin my term as mayor. I've stood up here many times as the council president, but this today is very, very different. Before I begin my inaugural address, I would kindly ask that we all rise. I'd like to take a moment to remember Mayor Bill Carpenter and Mayor Richard Wainwright, who passed, both passed away last year. Their dedicated service to our community is greatly appreciated, will never be forgotten, and our thoughts and prayers go out to the Carpenter and the Wainwright family. Let's take a moment of silence for these two fine gentlemen. May they rest in peace. Thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the day that we officially organize our local government, and I want to take this time to personally thank the city clerk, Mr. Anthony Zioli, and his staff uh, for their efforts. It takes a lot of time and effort to make this day, and I want to thank you, Mr. Clerk. This is a special day for everybody here. Thank you. I'm very privileged today to share this day with my family, my wife, Maria, and our children, Tommy, Grace and William. I want to thank you all for your love and your support. I wouldn't be standing up here today without both e each and every one of you. I want to just thank you. Thank you. My parents, Robert and Su Susan Sullivan, here in the front row, who taught me to work hard, care for others, and always, always do the right thing. Mom and Dad, thank you. Thank you. My sisters, Kara Briggs and Suzanne Jacobus, and my brother, Ryan, my aunt and uncle, Barbara and Frank Lyons, my in-laws, Anthony and Lorraine Louisi, my nephews, my nieces, my cousins, my brother-in-laws, and my sister-in-laws, I truly thank you for your guidance and support over the years. It means so much to me. Thank you all. Thank you. the current members of the Brockton City Council and the school committee, I congratulate each and every one of you. I truly, truly look forward to working with you for the residents and for the students of the city of Brockton. Congratulations. <laughs> to the former city councils and former school committees, we owe them a great thank you as well for their public service and their commitment to the city. So we want to thank them. To the state delegation, Representative Cassidy, Representative Cronin, Representative Dubois, and State Senator Michael Brady, you're all my friends, and I truly look forward to continuing our efforts together to better Brockton. Thank you.
To the mayors of, that have served before me, the fine city of champions, uh, I want to thank today, especially Mayor Linda Belzotti. <laughs> Mayor Farwell. I would be remiss not to especially thank my colleague and friend, Moises Rodriguez. Just think, ladies and gentlemen, he stepped up to serve as mayor during a time of great sadness and uncertainty. He is a historic milestone by being the first mayor of Cape Verdean descent. He did a wonderful job, and we are all proud of his accomplishments. I'm pleased to call him my friend, and I'm very, very happy to call him a concert lodge once again, Moses. To all of the city and school employees that are here today, to the brave policemen and firefighters who protect us on a daily basis, to the DPW uh, workers who are outside in freezing winter months, digging ditches and repairing broken pipes, to the classroom teachers who are shaping and educating the minds of our youth, I thank you, thank you, thank you for your service and all that you provide to the city of Brockton. To the clergy and the religious leaders who are here today, those behind me, and if you're in the chamber, I'd ask you respectfully, please stand. We thank you. It doesn't matter what faith you are. We thank you for your guidance and your prayers and your service to our community. And I truly look forward to working with you, to praying with you, and the days, months, and years ahead. Thank you all, and God bless you all. <laughs> to all Brocktonians, all citizens here in the fine city of Brockton, I am so honored and I am so privileged to be your mayor. As I've stated numerous times, this is our city, and positive change through collaboration is my mission. Brockton is a special place with wonderful people who live and work here. I have said that the number one asset of the city of Brockton is indeed the people. I am committed, and I will say that again, I am committed to being a mayor for all residents of this city. Brockton is our home. Let's work together to make it a safe, loving, inclusive, and thriving home. Brockton is the core of my heart. Today it is about us. It is about all of us. It's about providing equal opportunities for every segment of our community. It's about a sound economy, enhanced public safety, quality education for all, care for our seniors, and we will never forget our veterans. It's about listening and respect for all. It's about us. My father was a teacher at Brockton High School for over 40 years, and my mother, a nurse here in the city, and my wife, Maria, a physician assistant in a local city hospital. They showed me through their respective professions how to help people and they reinforce to me, and they do to this day, the idea of caring for those in our community. And ladies and gentlemen, that's why in 2005, that's really why I decided to run for local office in the first place. It was a desire to serve the city, my hometown of, hometown of Brockton, and ultimately to help the residents and business owners. I will continue to work every day as your mayor to move our city forward in a positive and inclusive manner to make sure that all residents feel that they have a voice in this city, to make sure that we live in a safe and clean community. We can do better, though, and I'm committed to that. That proposition of doing better is something that I'm going to reinforce on a daily basis. I will foster positive change through collaboration, collaboration with my fellow elected officials, local, state, and federal officials, collaboration between city departments and residents, collaboration with our clergy, our nonprofits, our business owners, our veterans, our seniors, and our wonderful, wonderful, diverse population. Thank you. <laughs> Brockton has always been a city of immigrants. We stand today in this beautiful building that was constructed by immigrants from around the world. They came to Brockton for a purpose. My own grandparents came from Ireland to work in the city factories, and Maria's great-grandparents from Italy to do the same thing. 
The fabric of Brockton has always been made up of diverse cultures and people, and that's what makes Brockton so, so special. Today, we just have a wonderful new group of immigrants. They come here from Haiti, from Cape Verde, from Angola, from Nigeria, and we must embrace all communities and come together to better our city as one. Quite simply, I'm going to be a mayor for all. I will work to take Brockton to that next level. We are really poised for greatness, and we must work together collectively and in a collaborative approach to achieve that end result. We have three commuter rail stops here in the city of Brockton. We can reach South Station in 35 minutes. Young professionals are moving to Brockton because they understand of the value of housing compared to the price points in Boston or Dorchester or Southie or Braintree or Quincy. They're coming to the city of champions, and we welcome them, we embrace them, and we say keep coming. It's good for Brockton. It's good for all of us. Currently, we have in excess of $150 million invested in downtown area, and we need to continue that investment. We need to make sure that all areas of the city from Campello to Montello to the village are included in that investment landscape. And I'm going to lead the city, and I'm going to lead it strictly by listening. I've learned over the years, ladies and gentlemen, that a good listener makes more informed decisions. All of us who work for the city or serve the city must always remember that we are in the people business. We must always remember that fact. During my term as mayor, I will be focused on addressing the needs of residents and business owners. I will foster a philosophical change here within this building. We are going to get back to the basic principles of ensuring customer service, making sure that the most effective professional manner is, is utilized, establishing a culture of treating people with courtesy, respect, and decency here at City Hall. That's going to be my mantra, and that's going to happen during my term. As your mayor, I will lead a unified Brockton. To achieve that notion, to achieve that notion, I'm going to focus on a few different specialties. Economics. We need a thriving local economy, increased investment throughout the city, and maintaining our great relationship with the State House and those on Capitol Hill. Economic investment in Brockton is really, really at the heart and cornerstone of our future. We must attract new businesses, ladies and gentlemen but we need to make sure that the existing business, businesses here stay operational. It quite simply means working together with all businesses, including women and minority-owned businesses. It needs to be about providing opportunity for all. In addition, I am committed to reforming our permitting and licensing process here at City Hall, make it more streamlined, updated, and customer-friendly. That's how business is going to continue to come and investment is going to continue to roll here into the city of Brockton. My next stepping stone will be education, quality education for all, quite simply. I'm a product of the Brockton Public Schools, graduated in 1988. I was in the red building at Brockton High. We need to do better for our children. We need to do better for our teachers. Although the recently announced state funding is going to greatly help reduce our classroom sizes, provide more educational resources and opportunities, including enhanced STEM programs. And I specifically want to thank Claire, Jerry, Mike, and Michelle for what you did. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Every child in the city of Brockton deserves a great education. Tomorrow, I will begin to serve as chair of the school committee. I look forward to working with our superintendent, Mike Thomas. Mike and I are both graduates of uh, Brockton High. He's older, he's class 87, I'm 88. <laughs> One thing that Michael and I share is an, an utmost respect and commitment to providing quality education for all. It's gonna happen, it's gonna continue to happen. And Mike, I really look forward to this collaborative approach and thank you for your friendship and we're gonna work together hard, thank you. We must look at financial investment within the actual physical structures of the school buildings. The new Brockton High School was built in 1970, the year that I was born. It's not too new anymore, and I, that's gray, shows it. But as mayor, I'm going to work with my fine colleagues on the city council and the school committee because investing in our school buildings is important, it needs to be done, and it will happen under my watch. And let's, let's work together on that, it needs to be done. 
I also, I also look forward to working with Superintendent Lewis Lopes at Southeastern Regional Vocational Technical High School. Remember, a large, large percentage of students are from the city of Brockton, and I want to thank Bishop Branch. He's the Brockton representative uh, for Southeastern. Tony, thank you for what you do. <laughs> Public safety. We all want and need safer streets and reduced crime, and as mayor, I'm going to be working with our city public uh, safety departments and our state and county officials to achieve those desired results. I'm going to hire more police officers, I'm going to hire more firefighters during my term. These brave men and women, they keep us safe on a daily, daily basis. They run into fires, they chase people with firearms. I don't have it in my fabric, but I thank God every day that we have the men and women that do that. Again, I'm going to be working with my colleagues on the City Council to determine a location for a new public safety building, a modern facility that exemplifies the champions who protect and serve the city. The return, quite honestly, is worth the investment. We need to do that, and we will do that. I will be an advocate for community policing, and I will seek open communication between our residents and our law enforcement. Through mutual trust and open dialogue, we can achieve a sense of shared commitment. And it needs to happen and it will happen. And I want to just uh, make it known to everybody here that there's a new guard happening right now and it's going to be just getting back to we're all in this together and we need to work together to achieve an end result of a better community. Code enforcement. Yeah. If you followed me on the campaign, I said it. As mayor. As mayor, I will address and demand that codes are enforced equally throughout the city of Brockton. The notion of perception is reality is an absolute truth. Be assured that as your mayor, quality of life issues will be addressed promptly and professionally. Homelessness, I vow to address this serious issue in a thoughtful way by building coalitions around the city in a collaborative approach. The issues of homelessness is important for each and every one of us. We must examine it in a compassionate manner and realize that no human being really desires to live on the streets. We were all raised with a belief having a roof over your head. However, certain factors such as drug and alcohol abuse, mental illness, or perhaps even the foreclosure epidemic are triggers and root causes of homelessness. As mayor, I will support an approach that will bring social services, mental health, and health care sectors together to again begin a sound and appropriate wraparound service initiative to help address this serious issue. It's long overdue, we need to do it. <laughs> the drug and opiate epidemic, I'm gonna focus on the serious health crisis in a positive and constructive manner, utilizing an approach of shared professionalism and expertise. I'm committed to adhering to and enhancing the late Mayor Bill Carpenter's champion plan. It saves lives and we need to continue that plan and we will continue that plan. <laughs> the Shaw Center at Campanelli Stadium. If anybody's been looking at the newspaper, really, it's a hot issue. <laughs> we need a first class venue here within the city of Brockton that can accommodate a large number of guests in a professional and a showcase manner. The fact is these city Asset properties have been neglected and are quite honestly right now in disrepair. But as mayor, I am committed to working with my city council colleagues to appropriate the necessary funds to bring these locations back to life. It will happen under my watch. It will. Since election day and during our transition, I have heard from residents and business owners. I look forward to continuing these conversations. As mayor, I will convene regular town hall style meetings to listen and to learn. In fact, later this month, I will be conducting a community engagement meeting in the auditorium at Brockton High School. The purpose of the meeting will to welcome anybody and everyone to attend so that we can discuss city and citizen concerns. It is through open and frank dialogue that we will develop a shared vision of success and understanding. As mayor, I plan to before I plan to appear before the Brockton City Council's Finance Committee on a regular basis to provide updates, to share information, 
we do not want to have anything lost in the translation. We want to be transparent and make sure that we're all on the same page. And I will ask humbly, all department heads are going to be coming to do the same exact endeavor. We will face difficult times ahead, challenges, trepidations. That's a fact. However, together, we will work hard to overcome these obstacles, learn from those obstacles, and strengthen our collective resolves. We will join together as one community to build a better city for all of us. The future is bright, it really is, but the challenges are real. And together, the key word is together, in collaboration, we will create positive and everlasting change within Brockton. However, we must learn from the past. We must grow together from that learning. As your mayor, I am committed and pledge that I always work with you and I will work for you. That's what it means to be a mayor. That's what it means to be a leader. That's what it means to be a public servant. I take it wholeheartedly and that's what I'll do. City Hall is the house of the people. I want all citizens of our great city to realize that the mayor's office and all offices within this building are welcoming and here to help you, the resident, taxpayer, constituents. In the coming weeks, I'll be making changes and enacting certain initiatives that will benefit us all. I'll convene meetings to take steps to enhance our efforts for a safer community. I'll be meeting with Plymouth County District Attorney Tim Cruz and Plymouth County Sheriff McDonald to forge future programs together. In the near future, there will be a diversity and inclusive training at City Hall for employees. This training, training is extremely important and it will be enacted through the efforts of Sandra Knight, the Human Resources Director, in my office. It needs to happen. As your mayor, I will advocate for fiscal controls and cost containment measures. I will examine spending on the city side and the school side. I want to ensure that the money is being spent effectively and efficiently, and that will be done in short order. We must invest in our infrastructure, ladies and gentlemen, and I'm going to work with the CFO, the DPW Commissioner, and the City Council to determine a plan to tackle these long-standing issues. It needs to be done. When you spend money on your home, fixing your steps, fixing your pipes, you do it on a regular basis. City of Brockton is a city, but it's a business. We need to take care of our business. Those that are underground and above ground, the infrastructure concerns are real, and we will address those together. I look forward. Go ahead. I like this front row, thank you, thank you, thank you. I look forward to working with young people, creating internship opportunities for our students, working with our seniors and our veterans, working with the Brockton Housing Authority, working with the Brockton Redevelopment Authority, working with the Plymouth County District Attorney's Office and Sheriff's Office, the Brockton Partnership, the Metro South Chamber of Commerce, the Old Colony Planning Council, working with the business community, working with civic groups, working with nonprofits, working with entrepreneurs, labor unions, working with our health care providers and hospitals, working with our clergy, and working with each and every one of you. I want to thank right now my transition team, truly a wonderful group of dedicated and diverse citizens who love Brocken and have a shared vision of its success. I want to take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you who helped on my campaign. On hot summer days and cold, cold fall mornings, walking the seven wards and 28 precincts, making those thousands and thousands of phone calls, hosting coffee hours, placing lawn signs, and holding signs throughout the city of Brockton. The recent campaign was one that I am extremely proud of, and I want to thank Jimmy Pereira for being here today. He's a class act. It was a positive and professional is issues-driven campaign. I thank all candidates who so sought local office, those that won and those that did not prevail. It is through your efforts, your efforts, that the local political process transforms to better Brockton. As Gandhi said, be the change that you wish to see in the world. Be the change that you wish to see in the world. And together, that change will be achieved. The key word is togetherness. I ask you all to join together on this day and for the days to come. We can and we will make, I'm sorry, we can and we will work in a shared commitment 
to make our city of champions a better place to live and a better place to work. It is through our collective resolves and efforts that Brockton will thrive. Again, I wish to thank you all for attending today's inaugural ceremony. Please remember that the mayor's office is always ready, willing, and able to assist any and all Brocktonians. I want to wish you a beautiful afternoon and a happy and healthy 2020. God bless you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, and I, and I could probably speak on behalf of the full city council. We're definitely looking uh, for the next few years to work with you, and a lot of those issues, a lot of those issues that you mentioned, no doubt, no, you know, we want to work with you on them because we want to see them ac ac accomplished as well, especially the Shaw Center. You know that one. Absolutely. That's exactly right. <laughs> I do know that one. But in, in any case, um, I do have something I want to present to you. It's not the first ham you've gotten. might be the last one here. Though we've had mayors that seem to like to return to the city council for whatever. It's not happening here. So. Okay. No. <laughs> I, I had a feeling I was going to get that answer. But in any case, Mr. Mayor, I'd like to present you with a plaque because you did serve as the halfway, I don't want to say halfway, but as the acting uh, president uh, from uh, July on to this very morning at, uh, uh, what, 9.59 a.m. So you are now the mayor, but we still respected you handling the gavel, handling the meetings, as you have done not only this past six months, but, but many times before. So I present you with this on behalf Thank of the you. members of the Rockland City Council. I think we've both done that back and forth a few different couple times. times. Couple yeah, times yeah. it's unbelievable. But in any case, um, at this point in time, um, if you could all remain standing, because I'd like to have a benediction from Pastor uh, Nesley Cherry from the New uh, Birth Baptist Church. Today is a very challenging day very exciting day for the city of Brockton. I found a Bible verse for you in Psalm 33, verse 12. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he chose to be his inheritance. With this word, as you already stand up, I'm going to ask you to receive the blessing. You may close your eyes. May the God of grace, God of glory in whom we move and live, I down on this great city of champions, the city of Brockton. And may he keep uh, his eyes on our new mayor, Mr. Robert F. Sullivan. May the great Lord of ours give him wisdom and his vision to lead this great city of Brockton. May the Lord keep him safe and keep him strong on this new endeavor. And may our new mayor, Mr. Sullivan, always knows that all he will do in unity is for thy glory, only thy glory, in Christ's name. Amen. 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 Thank you. And just before we uh, do conclude, uh, the mayor wanted to make one last comment, so. He's the mayor, I'll let him make it. <laughs> I just, uh, on behalf of the city council, um, this is the fifth time I've received this gavel. And um, to Rita and to <clears throat> Jeff and to Tina, um, it's, it's a great honor uh, and duty that you're going to encounter. Um, the city council uh, is challenging. 
Uh, it's rewarding. And you're going to foster really great relationships and long-lasting friends. Um, when you leave the city council, you're still considered a councilor. Councilor Shana Bonds is here today. And we can think back of, of great uh, councilors from Todd Petty to Tom Brophy to Michael Brady to Michelle Dubois uh, to Jay Stewart to Gene Bradley Derencourt to Ann Beauregard. Um, you know, there's, there's just great Brocktonians that have served. Uh, and I just wanted to say thank you. Um, to each and every one of you that are my friends and my colleagues, and together we're going to do great things to better Brock. And thank you all. Thank you. That doesn't mean, councilors, that you're going to be not buying Girl Scout cookies pretty soon. I already talked to Gracie about that, so I said, <laughs> I, I said, don't let that not happen because I'm waiting for some right. I'm ready, okay? The thin mints, right? The, the thin mints. Thi thin mints, whatever. Yeah. yeah, I look like thin, uh, thin mint, huh? <laughs> At this time, we are going to take a, a recess, but we're, we're a short recess so that we can assume our responsibility to elect a, a new council president. So hopefully, I hope some and all would, will, will stay in the room because it's very important for our next step to what we do to elect an, uh, a president. But at this time, I want to thank everybody, each and everybody, and all, all of the people that are here, dignitaries, and, and of course, uh, pastors that are back, all that uh, gave us the prayers and the hope as we continue to move forward for the next couple of years. And it's, it's going to be it's going to be challenging, but what isn't a challenge? You've got to go at it full, full throttle, and I'm sure that's what we're going to do. So I look forward to that as well. So at this time, I'm going to take a short recess, about four minutes. Appreciate you being here, but stay, and then we'll be off to lunch. Thank you. So close the door. I'm going to call the meeting of the uh, City Council back to order. At this time, nominations are now open for the election of the Council President for the year 2020. Mr. President, yeah. pro tem. Mr. I'd like Council. to uh, nominate Shirley Azak. Second. Motion's been made and seconded by uh, Council Monahan to make the motion, seconded by Council Lally. I move nominations be closed. I second that. And, motion is, and the motion has already been seconded by Council Fowle and, and Council Cruz have, have moved to um, close the nominations. At this time, uh, Council Azak has been nominated and nominations have been properly closed. Mr. Clerk, would you please call the roll? Councilor Azak. Shirley Azak. <laughs> <laughs> We're glad you thought of them with that. <laughs> <laughs> Councilor Cardoso. Shirley Azak. Councilor Cruz. Shirley Azak. Councilor Erdary. Councilor Azak. Councilor Fowell. Shirley Azak. Councilor Lally. Shirley Azak. Councilor Mendez. Shirley Azak. Councilor Monahan. Shirley Azak. Councilor Castro. Shirley Azak. Councilor Rodriguez. Shirley Azak. Councilor Thompson. Shirley Azak. Eleven councils. Eleven councils voting in the affirmative. And voting in the affirmative. And Councilor Azak has been elected to serve as our new council president. I would ask Councilor Rodriguez and Councilor Cruz to escort the new council president to the podium. <laughs> Jeez. Close those doors. We're supposed to escort you. Okay. Take her on a tour of the council chambers. I think she knows. Uh, <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Come on, you two. Right, huh? <laughs> <laughs> like she's going off to prison for crying out loud. Jeez. <laughs> she is, that's right. <laughs> Madam President, I should say, and you are the first Madam President since the year 2004. The last one we had was Councilor Donna Daly, so it's an honor to have you as, as the Madam President instead of one of us guys, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> well, it's my it's honor. A, and it's a great pleasure. It really it's my is. Honor. 
Having, having used this several times, I might say there were once or twice where I felt like going, but I didn't. But I know you won't. But as it was always treated to me, you use it often and you use it wisely. These are your council chambers, you working with the clerk, and you also working with the city council, and I'm sure you're going to do an outstanding, outstanding job. So I'd like to present you with this, and the rest of the program is all yours. Thank How's you. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> before, before I begin, I have two things I need to do. One of them is to thank our dean for his many years of uh, service to our city. Today is you, 40 years, 40 years ago, 40 years yeah. ago Councillor uh, Ian Erie was um, w inaugurated, uh, inaugurated school uh, as a school committee well, member. I was on the school committee, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I so am in awe. <laughs> it's my honor and privilege to have served with him the last few years, and um, I'd like to present him and thank him for everything he's done for us with this bouquet of flowers. So thank you, Councillor. Our Dean. Oh, no. oh. <laughs> I appreciate, it. I appreciate it very much, and if the weather gets a little mild, I will say to you this, they will end up at my family stone in front of my mother's grave, because I was her baby, and she always said, I can never imagine you standing in a crowd of one or two, you were always behind my apron string, so with that being said, I appreciate well, you that. Thank, Thank you. you. you Thank you very proud. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Let me make the clip my drum. All right, you're in charge. Give that thing a good whack just for good measure. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> it matches your eyes. Thank you. The second thing I need to do before I continue is call up my colleague, my friend, Councillor at large, Mayor, Councillor at large, um, Moses Rodriguez, please come up. Whoa. This is your gavel. Yes, you do. Oh, so <laughs> you proud. served us as our council president for um, the beginning of the year. You did that very well, and then you took on a very hard job, but you did well, and you're back here with us. and. Um, you served us well. So thank you for everything that you've done in this past year as council president. We give you this beautiful gavel, I told you. I didn't have time to dip it in gold. But oh, no. <laughs> next <laughs> but thank you. Uh. As you know, this was a special year for all of us. Uh, we started out, I started out as the council president and unexpectedly became the mayor uh, of the city. And I'm back here in the council again where I think I belong. And it's an honor to continue to serve the, the citizens of, of this great city of ours. And I, uh, I pledge again to work with you and work with the councilors that are here now to, bring, to continue to bring the city forward. Uh, there's quite a few things that we need to do as a city to move Brockton forward. And I intend to do that uh, because the citizens of the city deserve at least that. So thank you very much. Um, congratulations to you all. Looking forward to serve with you, with you all in this coming year, in this coming term. And uh, God bless you all. And God, God, please, God, continue to bless the great city of Brockton. Well, good morning, everybody. I'm not going to keep everybody here too long. I just have a few words that I would like to say to everyone. First of all, I want to thank my colleagues on the council for electing me as your council president for the year 2020. It is truly my honor and privilege to serve with you and for you. And many of these words you probably have heard in um, our new mayor's speech, but I, I don't want to feel like I'm repeating, but they are from the heart. So. Thank you to Ward 7 residents who came out to vote this past November and voted to re-elect me as the Ward 7 City Councilor going into my fourth term. I wouldn't be here without you. But most of all, 
Thank you to my family, my husband, Caleb Eunice, and my two daughters, Alexandra and Georgina Eunice, my mom, Madeline Azak, and of course, you all know my sister, Joyce Azak, who serves as your Ward 6 school committee member. I wouldn't be here without you either, and thank you for all your support, encouragement, and dedication. I wouldn't be able to do this job without your love and support. Thank you to past mayoral administrations, past and present city councilors. I have learned from all of you, and I truly believe everyone brings something to the table. To my fellow councilors, we may not vote the same way, but we all want what we believe is best for Brockton. Mayor Carpenter and I agreed on many issues, but not on everything. And in that case, he was always the first to say to me, okay, we'll agree to disagree and he moved, we moved on. I learned a lot from him in his work ethic as mayor, and I will cherish our many conversations on pending issues and the progress and redevelopment of Brockton. He is truly missed. May his love for this city and his legacy live on in his family and friends. As your city council president, I promise to keep decorum during our meetings. I will work together with our new mayor, the Honorable Robert Sullivan, who not only did I have the pleasure of working with as a city councilor for the past six years, but he is also my fellow Brockton High School classmate, class of 1988. I will work with our school committee members, our state delegation, and promise to keep lines of communication open to advance and enhance our city. We will work diligence, diligently on ordinances, initiatives and resolutions to improve the quality of life in Brockton. The only way we can move the city forward is by working together, communicating and compromising. Together we can move mountains. To Brockton's residents and business owners, we as a council may have passionate discussions, we may even vote differently on certain issues, but in the end, all we are trying to do is work in the best interest of our community. We hope to make things right by improving quality of life issues and becoming business friendly in this great city of ours that we call home and that we love. I will end with one of my favorite quotes from Martin Luther King Jr. Darkness cannot drive out darkness, only light can. Can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate, only love can do that. So thank you again. Thank you, I look forward to working with our newly elected uh, counselors. I'm looking forward to a wonderful year. And um, we're going to celebrate, so I hope everybody, I'll uh, see everybody um, at Thorny Lee. And um, thank you again. Uh, thank you. And to our clerk and his staff for this beautiful ceremony and um, for decorating this beautiful uh, chambers for us. Mr. Clerk, can you please uh, read the committee assignments okay. <clears throat> for the year 2020? Okay. Finance Committee, all members of the City Council. <clears throat> Excuse me. Accounts Committee, Dennis Ianeri, Thomas Monahan, Winthrop Fowle, Susan Castro, Jeff Thompson. Beautification Committee, Winthrop Fowle. Community Schools, Tina Cardoso. Ordnance Committee, Timothy Cruz, Dennis Ianeri, Thomas Monahan, Moises Rodriguez, Jeff Thompson. Public Safety, Thomas Monahan, Moises Rodriguez, Winthrop Fowle Jr., Tim Cruz, Dennis Ianeri. Real Estate, John Lally, Tim Cruz, Susan Castro, Jeff Thompson, Rita Mendes. Traffic Committee, John Lally and Rita Mendes. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. And with no further business here today, this meeting is now adjourned. Woo!